just have to ask yourself one question. I don't care what party you are a part of, what team you align with. Just ask yourself one question and be honest. Why do the left love grooming kids? Why? That's what we're talking about here. That's what we're talking about. I'm Mr. Dead Man. This is Rant and Chill. Today we're ranting. Right now we're ranting. Going into something. Right now I seem calm, cool, collected. But maybe that'll change as we get into this. I don't know. I like to surprise myself. But seriously though, in case you need to know, I don't really align myself one way or the other, Democrat or Republican, because like, uh, I would say, I guess you could say I'm more conservative. Definitely, that's safe to say. I'm pro guns, pro free speech, and that. But there's particular things, but you know, of Republicans that sometimes I can't stand. You know, when they play, uh, when they pretend or look the other way, when people, do, you know, corruption and stuff. It's like, come on, man. When someone in the party is, is engaged in behaviors that are definitely abhorrent and should be caught out and they don't it's like come on man come on Mm -hmm. we're not doing that uh uh i guess silence you know we're not doing a a code of silence here no we should we should call out those that need to be called out anyway i mean that's how i feel that's how i operate so with that said let me ask the question again why do the left love grooming kids and i think they do I think they absolutely love it. Not, maybe not everyone on the left, but I think they do. It's in them. It's entrenched with them. The Democrats were in bed with Epstein. They, they loved Epstein. They were a huge supporter of Epstein. Epstein's island was full of little girls that uh, Bill Clinton and others would fly out to and uh, finger and butt fuck. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah, by the way, there's going to be inappropriate language in case, in case you don't know. Uh, but no, that's that's what they did. They, they did all kids together and they, they filmed it and it was a huge thing, right? Uh, Epstein was known that as Lolita Express. You don't get the Lolita Express for no out of coincidence. You earn that. Okay, then you got you got Hillary Clinton <laughs> sucking the adrenochrome out of out of the children, loving the kids. You got the Democrats being uh, lately really really soft on the border, want to open borders, let all the kids in, bring on all the kids, bring in all the kids, and those kids are going to be trafficked and sexed up and. Uh, probably violated on the way to cross the border and then sent somewhere where they're going to be violated again over and over again. And that's just a harsh reality. That's just what it is. And it's the open border policy that's that's allowing that to happen. Because, I mean, if they had to go through a vetted checkpoint and, they, you know, they wouldn't just be able to just anyone just pass through. But that's what it is right now. OK. In fact, it, with the current policies and what Biden's uh, administration has put forth people who are engaged in sex trafficking they're they're not even they're not even held criminally they're released it's it's almost as if uh Biden and the Democrats want these children to be diddled they want more kids to be trafficked it sounds like a conspiracy theory it sounds crazy it sounds insane it doesn't sound like it makes sense but it's true it's true that those that are engaged in uh as a sex trafficking, that those that are even crossing the border illegally are not even being sent back. What's going on there? What's going on there? I, I I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It sounds insane to me. Why would you want that here? Why would you want that? And then you have Twitter being a safe haven for pedophiles, lowly lovers. If you want to know what lowly is, don't don't even Google it. But I know you're curious. Uh, Twitter is a safe haven for uh, what they call maps, minor attractive persons, which is another word of just saying a, a, a pedophile scum fuck. And my view of pedophiles is uh, pedophiles have one place where they need to be. And, uh, and I'm not talking in Minecraft. I'm not talking code. I mean that. Um, they need to get checked. They need to get helped. They might as well just quarantine themselves into a, to a, a, a isolation forever. Uh, I don't think pedophiles could be redeemed. I don't think pedophiles could be uh, fixed. I, I don't think so. I think it's something in their DNA that just, um, um, they're warped. They're messed up. Anyway, but that's my view on it. You know, if you disagree, disagree. But you have the left uh, supporting, uh, applauding and supporting Desmond is amazing. A 10-year-old stripper. A 10-year-old, a 10-year-old stripping on a fucking strip club. On the stage on a strip club. In a gay strip club. It doesn't matter if it's gay or not. It could be, it could, it could, it could I would, I would be appalled if it was, 
uh, a family letting their their little daughter, ten year old daughter, stripping on a stage. I'll be a part of that too. I'll be like fucking white trash. Like that is that is below white trash. That's that's just no. That's horde. That needs to be eradicated. No. No, any parent that allows that, any parent that allows their 10-year-old to strip or pseudo strip on a on a strip club and take money for it from grown adults, what is wrong with you? Why would you support that? Why would, would you applaud that? Do you want your daughter or son to grow up to be a stripper? Do you want them to do that? Some people think, oh, there's no, nothing wrong with sex work. Well, I mean, sex work makes a lot of money, but well, with sex work, there's a huge stigma, and it's kind of earned. Look, there's plenty of women that don't value sex work because it undermines their value, and there's a lot of men that don't value sex work because, uh, well, I mean, they they know what what it is. The people that do value sex work are the ones that you know that pay for it and want more of it. Okay, cool. I mean, I could see how you can you can use it to make your way, but what I definitely don't value are kids, little kids, uh, being groomed and being raised as if that is their option, as if that is that should be their option, and that it should be okay for them. No, it should never be okay for a kid, a child, a ten-year-old to be pseudo stripping or even worse stripping on any stage anywhere taking money from grown adults if you applaud that you're messed up in the head if you support that i believe you're messed up in the head if you uh turn the other cheek or ignore it and pretend like it doesn't happen um no like what you need to speak out if you're on the left when that stuff happened i hope you spoke out but here's the thing a lot of people on the left that did speak out about that no, 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 they didn't speak out about that, what they spoke out about. They'd be like, oh, what about the uh, pedophiles in the Catholic Church or whatever? Oh, I, I point them out too. Oh, yeah, I'm quick to disavow them. Burn those motherfuckers. Don't send them to another church. Just go ahead and hang them. Go ahead and take a shotgun and, 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 and old yeller that person, okay? But no, no, but oddly, it's very odd, oddly enough, that when it comes to their turn, when someone on their, I guess, in their team uh, does something like that, they, uh, you know, are supportive. Supportive. I see nothing wrong with it. And that's sad. That is sad. I mean, do, are, are the kids' lives not valued? Are they not live? Are, are they not valued at all? I, I don't think, I don't think they are. I mean, I don't want this to be a right-left issue. I really don't. Maybe convince me otherwise, but I, the way I see it, it seems like the left just does not care about kids. They want to turn the boys into girls, uh, force them to take hormone blockers, puberty blockers, which no, no, the science is not out yet that it could be, uh, uh, reversed and it doesn't make sense in how it would be reversed. Um, pu- uh, puberty is a, a, is a very important thing and that's when your body starts developing in a way. Um, very, very important. I'm not a biologist, but I know that. I know that. Most people understand that. And if you block that, if you block that moment from happening, it's not going to happen again. Why would it? Why would it? If you, if you confuse your body and, and, and mess it up and then you realize you made a mistake and then you're stuck in the situation that you are, which, you know, there's plenty of examples of kids that took, uh, uh, hormone blockers or, or one of the transition and then later on they regretted it but it's too late and they're kind of stuck in the way they are and they'll never really go back 100% because of what they've done but and they're told early on as a kid that it's okay it's okay uh, do this do you not care about kids I mean you say it's okay to do that based on how they feel based on how they feel based on how they feel a lot of kids feel like they're fucking ninjas or dinosaurs or, or they feel like they're a fucking cat I don't know. They feel like they're Superman or Batman. How they feel, we should be basing it on feels. What are they talking about? It makes no sense. I don't think they, I don't think they care about the kids. They see them, they see the children as experimental. They see the children as this great experiment. Um, 
it seems like a lot of people on the left want the kids to be sexualized. Uh, they want the kids to be molesting each other and playing around with each other, playing doctor with each other. And, um, and, and the parents would be all supportive of that. It, it's, it's crazy to me. It's insane to me. It, it should be insane to you. It, is this appalling to you? It's appalling to me. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm getting fired up about this. Am I wrong? Are there are there a lot of families on the right that that, that are pro uh, kids being molested? Are are they? Are they? And I say pro kids being molested. I mean, look at the uh, the situation in um what in, in the Denver school or the, or the Denver uh, school board guy. What's his name? What's his name? Tay Anderson. I should say alleged predator, alleged perpetrator. Tay Anderson. Oh, he totally did it. In my opinion, I believe he totally did it. We're talking about 60 undocumented students that he molested, that he he diddled and raped. Um, some as young as 14 years old. Okay. And how do I, why do I believe this? Because when the parents are saying that their kids need stitches to heal properly because of the damage done to them. Uh, and we're talking about uh, molesting and rape. So you can only imagine where the stitches were needed to be applied. Okay. That is sick. That is gross. This guy I'm talking about, Tay Anderson, is super left, super left, super dim. I mean, we're talking about BLM supporter. We're talking about anti-gun supporter. We're talking about he, he he's he's on part of everything. We're talking about 60 fucking kids. And this stuff is not even being talked about. This stuff is barely getting any any attention. No one cares. No one cares. Because it's one of their guys. They're going to protect their guy. They're going to make sure he's okay. I hope the system doesn't. I hope the system gets him down. I hope he gets as much time as possible. Honestly, if you ask me what I think should happen to this guy, I couldn't even say it on YouTube. I could not say it. I could not say it. It's just how I feel about fucking pedophiles. Uh, very disgusting. Very gross. Um, and we're talking about 60 fucking kids, 60 fucking kids and some needed stitches in the ass. That's horrible. That's gross. That's absolutely disgusting. Look, the creeps on the right. Uh, what's that one guy? Um, uh, what's his name? I think it was Matt Gates or whatever. I don't know. Uh, he was like, I, I don't, I'm not even familiar with that story, but if, he, if he's doing inappropriate stuff, definitely call him out and, and cast him out. Call him out, cast him out. If, if there's proof that I did it, call him out, cast him out. Very simple. Very simple. Oh, very simple. But am I wrong here? It seems to me the left love to groom kids. I mean, why is Biden smelling all the little girl's hair? Why is Biden loving to smell little girl hair? That's not by accident. That's deliberate. That's not even acceptable. There's no way that's even tolerable. And the people who turn the other way and make excuses, what the hell are you talking about? If Trump did that, you know they would be running with that. They'd be like, why is Trump smelling all these little girls' hair? It's favoritism, man. It's fa it's fucking favoritism. And that's what sickens me the most. I could I could just do a rant about favoritism. But no. Uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep it on. I think the left loves uh, grooming kids. I do. Um... Uh, the, the pedo flag was was seen flying with uh, the, in the LGBT you know pride parades. What's up with that? Why are people uh, why is pedo pride inserting itself into LGBT? And if you Google this, they'll be like, no, no, it's really not. It's fake news. It's false. Not really happening. Really, not really happening. I, I'll give you this. They probably don't want it to happen. Maybe some in the LGBT groups or whatever don't want it to happen. And I can understand why, but there's others in the group that do want it to happen because it is happening. And, uh, it's, it's the next thing. It's the next thing because gay marriage is legal. Well, what's next? Okay. Oh, now we're talking about trans. Uh, we're kind of hitting, we're hitting a, a roadblock there, uh, allowing, uh, Allowing uh, with girls, oh no, allowing men to compete with women. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but these aren't men anymore. These are women that are now competing with women 
Never mind the fact that they've been a man their whole life and had huge testosterone their whole life and a dick and balls their whole life and probably still have a dick and balls while they're performing, but never mind that, you know? I'm telling you, man, this world's a fucking clown show, man. If they if they need to powder their balls while they're performing, you could definitely say, uh, that's not a woman. That's a man. That's a man. Okay? I guarantee you their dick and balls are probably bigger than me. I'm a grower, not a shower. What am I what can I say? Anyway. No, no, man. I really I really am convinced. I think the left loves grooming kids. You uh, in London, where they hired an LGBTQ group to uh, read books to kids, what showed up? A man wearing a rainbow monkey uh, outfit with his nipples exposed and a dildo. A dildo just, just between his legs, just dangling. How, how, like, how was that? deemed appropriate I'm talking about the people who hired the group I'm also talking about the, the group themselves like the performers why would they go to uh, a, a library to read books to kids dressed up in this flamboyant monkey outfit with nipples exposed and a, 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 a massive dildo why I'm telling you I think I think the love likes to groom kids. Or even worse, let's go worse. I think the love likes butt fucking kids. I think they, I don't think they care about kids, man. I think they see them as massive experiments, little experiments, and uh, uh, they want to violate them. And they, and they think they consent. That's a thing going around too. That kids can consent. If you're on board, you're, if you're on board with that, man. Oh shit, get lost, son. <laughs> get fucking lost, man. What is up with this? What is up with this stupid stuff? These people need Jesus. They need God. They need something. God dang. We've gone too far. <sighs> We've gone way too far. But yeah, I'm absolutely convinced the left loves grooming kids. Like I said, I'm wrap it up. With that, Twitter is a safe space, a haven for uh, pedophile circles. Just, uh, just pay attention to what you see on Twitter. Pay attention; it will creep up. You'll see it. You start scrolling. Uh, if you start going through like the OnlyFans stuff, you, you might see some. That's when it starts coming in. Um, look up maps. Look up Lolly. Look up, uh. I mean, you could, you could just, you could literally just search the term pedo and you'll see it. It's right there. And you'll see blatant links to, to websites for child porn. And this stuff is allowed. Pops up. And there's been news in the past where uh, Twitter won't take it down. Have to keep it up, probably because the FBI is using it as like a honeypot or, uh, uh, you know, as some sort of operation there. <laughs> I think. I let me wrap it up with this. I I really don't want to make this like a. a uh, a divisive thing where it's like left or right. But I really, what I'm seeing here, I'm really convinced that I think it's people on the far left. I'm, I'll give you the far left, but I don't even think that. I think it's just left in general because you, you have your politicians there that, that are definitely smelling kids and creeping on kids and um, if, that are okay with other politicians creeping on kids. No, it's, it's gross. It's gross. It's sickening. And, um, and, and if you want to prove me wrong, start calling them out. Start calling them out. Uh, make a fuss. Okay? Because if um, if you're on the left and uh, you don't agree with this, I mean, you feel like I was wrong on this, be like, no, no, I do call this out. Then okay. Okay. 
Uh, and if, if you do actively call it out, all right, then, then and I, I suppose you, you are the exception. And, I, and I'm just seeing, um, well, I'm not seeing the forest for the trees, I suppose. I'm just seeing it as one, one collective, one thing. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoy this this little rant here. Let me know what you thought about this in the comment section down below. And uh, y'all take it easy. Y'all have a good one. There's plenty of chill videos coming out. Plenty of reaction videos. Y'all have a good one.